Now, organizing your parts is something that is extremely useful and take it from someone who is not organized in real life or in my digital life. But in Roblox, it actually has a really nice facilities in the fact that each one of these things, these objects or tables or parts or whatever in Roblox, you can add things inside of them. And parts are no different. Just like you put scripts inside of scripts, you can take parts and put them inside of parts. And the reason that's useful you'll see it automatically welds it there is not just for grouping them together as a single entity, but you can also click as you still retain the ability to modify the individual part. Right. But what's interesting is that if you build something very sophisticated, such as a wall or a computer or a school or something like that, you can copy this parent and it'll copy all the children and what it includes. That it means everything from the sounds to the interactions, the code, right? That stuff is really, really useful. So adding, these parts within parts and they also retain their object model which means that this part's parent is this part and this part will have all its child parts in there as well all accessible via code which is really useful if you have a computer you know to go computer dot on button right or computer dot screen if you're dealing with a car you go car dot left wheel right wheel things like that so grouping things in the parts just like you would do with your scripts is a really really useful and helpful thing while still being able to modify individual parts and interact with them if you need to.